Hey everyone and welcome to the club. Today I'll be showing you how to draw Chibi Red Hood. So we're going to get started with the eyes. We're going to start with the left eye on the eyelid. Starting from the outside of the eye, we're going to curve down and in towards the inside of the face. Down and in. We're going to leave a space in the middle and do the same thing on the right side. So lining up the bottom on the inside, curve up and out. From here, let's take these two points and curve up the frown line. So on the left side, we're going to curve up and in. On the right, we'll curve up and in. Let's draw on the lower eyelid. So we're going to draw a half circle tucked in underneath the eyelid. Starting on the left side, we're going to step over towards the right so there's a little overlap. Curve down, and then we're going to pull this up towards the inside of that frown line. Let's do the same thing on the right. Starting from the inside, curving down, and then pulling that up to the top. From here, I just want to give a little bit of thickness to the lower eyelid. So we're going to start on the outside again, on the left side, starting out a little wide, and we're just going to taper it as we get down towards the bottom. So thickening it up, and then just coming down and just tapering it out. We'll go ahead and color that in black. We'll do the same thing on the right side. So starting on the outside, curving down, and then just blending it in as we get towards the bottom. We'll color the outside edge in black. We're going to do the same thing with the upper eyelid. So on the side here on the left, we start down a little bit and then just go across and then just blend it in as you get in towards the center. Color that in black. We'll do the same thing on the right side. Now starting on the inside this time we're just going to curve out. Color that in black. Let's go ahead and draw in the bottom of the face. So on either side of the eye we're going to start on the temples and curve like a half circle down towards the chin. Now the chin I'm going to draw down to about here. So on the left side, right just on the side of the eye, curve around down towards the chin. Now I want to make my way up to the right side. So I'm going to go across, up, and then just pull that in towards the side of the head. From here I want to draw on the top of the head. So now we're going to pull out a little bit so it's going to bulk out. So on the left side here, I'm going to go up. Now the top of the head I want to draw it pretty high. So I'm going to go up to the top of the head, come down on the right side. Now I just want to make sure that I keep my eye on the left as well, making sure it's balanced out. From here, I'm just going to draw some chiseled cheekbones. So underneath the left eye here, I'm just going to curve down and in. On the right, we'll do the same thing. So curving down and in. We're going to add some stitch lines up here. Now up above each eye, I just want to draw in a little brow first. So above this eye, I'm going to curve across. And on the right, we'll curve across. Now for the stitch lines, we're going to start up here at the top of the head. We're going to curve down and out towards the top of the brow. So right here, I'm going to curve down, on the right, curve down. Now I'm going to make my way to the top of the eye. So I want to make it look like the brow is sort of sticking out. So from the top here, I'm just going to curve out again down to the top of the eye. Do the same thing on the right side, curving down. He's got a little bit of a stitch line just underneath the eye. So underneath this curve, I'm just going to curve it out towards the top of the cheeks, just like that. And the chin here, there's this little stitch line here. So on either side of the chin, I'm going to go up with a diagonal line going up and I'm going to connect those two points with a curve that just follows the curve of the chin just going across. From here I just want to draw in a little bit of an eye bag just underneath each eye. So just underneath this point here I'm going to curve down and over towards the left. On the right I'll curve down and over towards the right. Let's work our way down the body. So now with the body I'm going to draw the waistline pretty high just up to about here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with the inside edge of the coat first. So right at this point I'm going to curve down and out. So bending outwards. On the right, I'll curve down and out. From here, I'm going to draw on the bottom of the coat. So we're going to curve up and out to the left and up and out towards the right. Now before I come up towards the side of the body, I want to draw on the collar first. So right about here, on either side, I'm going to curve out. Going up, like that. Now this is where the little part of the collar sticks out. So from here, I'm going to go down in an angle. Now I'm going to go up. So I'm going to create this nice little angle right here and pull this in behind the head. On the right we'll do the same thing. So going up in an angle and going in behind the head. On either side I just want to draw a little button. Draw a little circle on either side. Now from here I can pull this up underneath this collar. Now I'm not going to go all the way up. I just want to go up and curve it inward and just stop right about there. Do this on the right side as well, going up. So now it looks like the body's coming up. We're going to draw in the arms underneath here. Now from here, I just want to draw in the belt. So from these bottom points, I want to step up 
and draw a curve coming down in the middle, back up on the right side. I'm going to draw that twice to give a nice thick belt. In the center here, we're going to draw two lines coming down on either side of center. Now I'm going to draw a zipper line right down the middle here. So two lines side by side, right on the middle. Going down, and then one more right beside it. Let's draw on the bat symbol in the center here. So up here, I'm going to start on the left side of this zipper and curve up. Go to the right side and curve up. I'm going to come straight down on either side. And from here, I want to curve up the top of the wing, curving up. And from here, I'm just going to pull it down in behind the edge of the coat, just coming in like that. Now for the bottom here, I'm going to start down here, curve up and out towards the left. Up and out towards the right. I'm going to pull this down with a short curve. And then I'm going to take this point on the left and just curve it in behind the jacket, just like that. Let's go ahead and draw on the arms. So I'm going to draw from the shoulders, coming down to the elbows, out towards the hands, holding two pistols. So I'm going to start with the left side first. So right from this corner of this jacket, I'm going to draw an angled line coming down. This is the top of the outer part of the arm. We're going to go straight across for the short line. Now this is where we're going to draw in the thumb. So from here, I want to curve up, then down, and I'm going to pull this curve in the middle of that curve, just like that, for the thumb. From here, I want to curve out. Okay, so this is the palm, this part right here. From here, we're going to draw in the trigger finger. So beside the thumb, on the left side, we're going to draw an oval. Just touching the side of the thumb like that. Let's draw on the top of the gun. So just above the finger, we're going to draw a straight line going across and towards the thumb. From the back of the thumb here, I'm going to go up with a straight line. We're going to go across with a short line. Now we're going to draw an angle coming down about halfway along this line. Coming down like this. From the tip of the gun, we're going to go up with a short line. Now I don't want to go all the way up to the top. I don't want to go as long as this line here. So I'm going to tuck this in behind that angle like that. And then just down here, I'm going to draw a straight line across. Underneath this finger, I'm going to draw in the little trigger. So going around the finger and in behind the thumb. Now we're going to have to layer in the fingers underneath here. So right underneath this curve, I'm going to go around and in behind the thumb. I'm going to draw that one more time. So right underneath this finger, we'll curve around like that. Now for the outside part of the hand, we're going to draw this curve, but we're going to go all the way up in towards that wrist line. So beside this finger, I'm going to go around, and I'm going to pull this up underneath that thumb like that. And then right here, beside the palm, I'm going to curve in behind the body. Let's draw a little cuff line. So right along here, about halfway along, we're just going to draw a curve from the top to bottom. We're going to add a little wrinkle line in the elbow here. So right in this corner, it's going to curve down. At the bottom of this cuff, I'm going to draw a little button, so a little circle like that. So that's a very simple hand with a very simple gun. Let's do the exact same thing on the right side. Starting from that corner of that collar, I'm going to come down in an angle. I'm going to go across with a short line. Now we're going to draw on the thumb. So from here, we're going to curve up, come down, and pull up about halfway through this curve. Right in here, we're going to curve down the inner part of the palm. Now we're going to have to draw on that trigger finger first. So right up here, we're going to draw an oval right beside the thumb there. Now just above that finger, we're going to draw a straight line going out to right about there. Going back to the side of the thumb here, we're going to draw a straight line going up. We'll go across the short line. Now we're going to draw that angle. So we're basically just mirroring everything that we've done on the left side on the right. Here we're going to go up with a short line. We're going to pull this back in. We're going to draw a little seam at the bottom like that. And then we're going to draw the little trigger. So under here, we'll go right around that finger like that. Let's layer in the fingers underneath. So right underneath this curve here, we'll wrap around one finger underneath the thumb. Underneath this finger, we'll do one more. Pull it around. Now for the bottom of the hand, again, we're going to start underneath this finger, curve down, and pull that in right beside that thumb like that. We're going to draw on the bottom of the arm. So right here, we'll curve in behind the body. We'll draw on the cuff line. So halfway along this line, just work our way down towards the bottom. We'll add a little button there. In this elbow area, we're just going to draw a little curve for a little wrinkle. Now just to add a little detail, I just want to add a little zipper line on either side of the coat. So right here, I'm going to step over and just thicken up that side like that. Do the same thing on the right side. So you add a little different color on the inside there. Let's work our way down to the lower body. So down here in the middle, 
I'm going to draw a curve from left to right for the lower torso. On the left side, we're going to step over to the right slightly and just draw a curve down towards the heel on the inside of the left leg. We'll do the same for the inside of the right leg coming down. For the bottom of the feet, I just want to draw a curve from the heel to the toe. We'll draw a nice big curve across. On the right, we'll do the same thing. From here, we're going to draw on the top of the foot. So on the left side here, we're going to curve up to the top of the foot and just come down. We're aiming towards the heel, but we're just going to stop right about there. From underneath this coat line, right here, about halfway along this line, I'm just going to draw a curve going out to the top of that foot. Let's do the same thing on the right. So from here, we're going to curve up and curve this back. From the top, right here, underneath this coat, about halfway, I'm going to curve down to the top of the foot. Let's start adding some detail. So underneath this foot, we're just going to thicken up the sole. I'm just drawing another curve at the bottom. Do that on both sides. Now let's add a little strap with the little pouch on the side. So right beside this buckle at the bottom here, I'm going to draw a curve going out to the side of the leg. We're going to draw that twice. Just thicken up that strap. Do the same thing on this side. So starting here, curve to the outside of the leg. And I'll draw that twice. And for simple pouch on the side, we're just going to draw a little, almost like a long rectangle. So up here, we'll go out. We'll curve with the profile edge of that leg and just pull this back in towards the leg. Do the same thing on the right. So going out, curving down, and then back in. For the little pouch thing here, so we're going to draw a curve coming down on the other side. For the top of the boot, right above the top of the foot, we're going to step up, just draw a curve going across. We'll do that on both sides. Now we're going to draw a little bit of detail on the boot here. So right up here on the toe, we're going to curve across, and we're going to curve up to the top of the foot, going up like this. From here, we're going to go straight up underneath the boot cuff. Let's do the same thing on the right side. So coming down from the boot cuff first, curving down to the front of the foot, and then curving across to the outside of the foot there. Along these straps, I just want to add a little bit of detail. So I'm just going to draw a couple little lines just to separate it across. On the right, we'll do the same thing. And that is pretty much it. There we have it. There's Chibi Red Hood. I hope you enjoyed this lesson. Make sure you check out our Chibi playlist. Thanks for watching and we'll see you again soon.